In the middle of a big adventure, in the huge battlefields of Titans, Kong, the powerful protector of his land, fights hard with the thirsty hound of Titans. With strength from being a leader, Kong's strong punch flies through the air, hitting so hard that it breaks the beast's ribs, showing its defeat with a powerful display. The ground shakes as Kong, showing he is the strongest, breaks the ground under them, using a big piece of wood as if it were a small stick. With every step, he scares the people watching, cutting their defeated friend in two, letting its blood cover him as a warning to others not to fight him again. The sight of their friend cut in half makes everyone very scared, making them run away. After the fight, Kong, enjoying his quiet victory, goes to rest near a big crack in the ground, ready to eat. But then, a toothache stops his celebration, showing he can be hurt. This moment lets a sneaky crocodile steal his victory prize, and even a small frog teasing him doesn't make him react. Meanwhile, Dr. Andrews explains about Kong and Godzilla's homes, exploring the secrets of Hollow Earth and the troubles of the Titans. Kong, she says, is the last of his family, always searching, stopped by a huge sadness. She talks about Godzilla's fights with big enemies, battles to keep humanity safe from dangers we can't even imagine. Far away, in the old cities of Italy and Rome, a spider-like monster causes havoc, its destruction wide. But Godzilla, with his power, beats the monster with such force that it traps its arms in defeat. Despite the monster's attempts, nothing can stand up to Godzilla's powerful attack, his special lasers breaking it apart, saving the city from destruction. Dr. Andrews and her team find strange energy spikes in Godzilla's area, new and mysterious. Among them, Andrews' adopted daughter, a girl with special skills, starts having visions, her drawings showing the strange energies they find. Gia, the last of the Iwi tribe, her visions show bad things happening soon. Learning more about the Yui's sad end shows a story of ruin, with Jia as the only one left. Worried by her visions, Jia feels she has to find Kong in Hollow Earth, her connection to the Titans pulling her to a fate linked with the ancient giants. Dr. Andrews is puzzled by her daughter's weird dreams, which hint at events that don't make sense. She decides to investigate more and asks for help from her old friend Bernie. Bernie, who has worked with her before, gladly agrees to help. What they discover is surprising. The dreams seem to be linked to humans, not giant monsters like Godzilla. They wonder how humans can send messages from deep within the Earth. Just then, they hear news that Godzilla is active again after a long rest, and Kong has a tooth problem. A tough veteran comes to help Kong with his toothache, flying in with a helicopter. He also tries to flirt with Dr. Andrews, but she doesn't fall for it. She tells him about her daughter's strange dreams, but the veteran comforts her, praising her for being a strong mother. When Kong wakes up, he feels his toothache but communicates with Jia, Dr. Andrew's daughter, using sign language, showing their close connection. Bernie then brings alarming news of weird energy bursts from Hollow Earth, signaling a cry for help. Dr. Andrews knows they need to respond quickly. She puts together a top team, including her eager daughter, and they head into Hollow Earth with Kong. Entering this mysterious place feels like the craziest roller coaster ride, full of unexpected twists that almost make them lose their minds. Upon arrival, they meet creatures that seem like they are from a science fiction movie, yet these beings are friendly and less provoked. At the same time, Godzilla is causing chaos in France, acting like a storm, absorbing energy from explosions as if he is charging up for something big. Dr. Andrews and her team reach the royal base and are shocked by the destruction. Smoke is everywhere, showing that a big disaster has happened because of someone or something. They find a huge paw mark on a wall, too big for Kong, hinting at a new danger. Kong enters his cave and finds an axe that glows in a special way. Driven by curiosity, he finds a shiny door and jumps through it with the axe. He meets a baby monkey in this foggy place. Trying to be nice, he reaches out, but the baby bites him, which makes Kong scold it. Then, the baby's family attacks Kong fiercely, but Kong fights back strongly, even saving one from falling, only to be attacked again. Annoyed, he pushes one attacker down a hill and uses the baby as a distraction to get away. Back with Dr. Andrews, they find strange signals from underground and decide to look into it. Gia, curious herself, pushes for the exploration. They land safely but find a dangerous place. A meat-eating plant almost eats the palat, causing panic. Bernie is especially scared of becoming plant food, but they are determined to find out more secrets. They also keep an eye on Godzilla, who seems to be getting ready to fight a powerful enemy in the ocean, maybe a titan from the shiny depths. Then, Gia finds the remains of an old human city with writings older than their own, including a symbol of the Titan's mother, revealing big mysteries. Following clues from a glowing bug, they find a secret path hidden by a see-through wall. 
Beyond it, they see a place so beautiful it looks like paradise. Kong, following the tricky baby monkey, ends up in a place where he faces a giant snake-like titan ready to fight. This creature, with its wrapping body and sharp spikes, is a tough opponent, leading to a big battle between giants. Kong beats the monster so impressively that the little monkey, who was cautious before, starts to show him the way with respect. To make friends, Kong shares his food, pieces of a water monster he beats, with the little one. This makes them trust and like each other. Meanwhile, Godzilla fights a bright titan and wins easily. Godzilla's huge power is too much, and he ends the fight with a powerful energy beam that splits his enemy in two. People watching from a submarine are amazed and have trouble keeping the submarine steady because of Godzilla's big attack. Dr. Andrews and her team find themselves in a surprising place, taken by people who live in the forest to a shiny area full of gems and signs of old cities. They are scared at first, but then they connect with them, especially when their queen shows a special interest in Gia, showing a connection to their past. It turns out Gia's dreams are messages from these people calling her back home. In a bright room, they learn about the old peace between the underground world and the upper world, protected by apes. But a big ape called the Scar King wants to control both places, ruining the balance. Kong, being with his kind, sees them suffering under the Scar King's tough rule. Kong stands up for an old ape being bullied, winning the group's respect and admiration. But when the Scar King finds out about Kong and the little monkey, he is mean to the little one's dad for letting them in, and makes fun of Kong, showing off his strength. When the Scar King, holding a weapon made of bone, goes after Kong, Kong catches the weapon, which has a sharp part that hurts him. They fight hard, both strong and determined. This fight isn't just about strength, but also Kong's will to stand up to a bully's control. In the middle of much chaos with lava exploding, and the Scar King's followers around, a tense moment occurs. The Scar King, seeing Kong's strength, releases his pet Shimo. Shimo, a creature that sparkles and is chained, listens to the Scar King because of a magic stone in his weapon. Despite the danger, Kong bravely fights Shimo with his axe, blocking Shimo's dangerous moves for a while, but then gets hurt. Seeing Kong struggling, the smart baby monkey shows him a cave where they can hide, but as they run away, the Scar King takes Kong's axe, making their escape harder. The baby monkey cleverly uses the land to stop the Scar King's followers and helps Kong escape. Still, one follower keeps chasing them. Dr. Andrews, deciphering ancient cave writings, learns about Godzilla's upcoming fight with the Scar King and Shimo. Knowing they are not strong enough to fight Shimo, they realize they need to awaken the ancient god Mothra, with Gia from the old Ewi tribe playing a crucial role in this ritual. While they prepare, Godzilla visits places rich in plasma and radiation to strengthen. Meanwhile, the Ewi tribe assists Kong, opening a door for him to join the battle. But when Kong and his new friend go through the door, the Scar King's spy learns about their plan and quickly informs the Scar King, who becomes furious and goes to fight Kong on Shimo. Kong, badly hurt, tells Gia about his condition. Godzilla, now energized, displays his increased strength with pink spikes on his back. At this critical moment, Dr. Andrews's team has a significant breakthrough. They have been developing an electronic hand, and now is the moment to use it. They attach the electronic hand to Kong's injured arm, and Kong feels much stronger, ready to confront the Scar King. But first, he must call Godzilla to the surface, choosing Egypt as their battleground. Kong's loud roar spreads far and wide, and Godzilla responds with a loud scream of his own. This leads Godzilla to Egypt's pyramids, where his immense feet cause much damage near the sea, and where people gather as he approaches. Concurrently, the Iwi people gather at their sacred site for an important ceremony. Gia, climbing to the top, reaches an unseen place where Mothra, the goddess of the great creatures, sleeps. By touching it, she transfers her energy to awaken Mothra, who then emerges with Gia, just as Kong and Godzilla fight near the pyramids. Kong tries to alert the onlookers about the Scar King's wrath, but Godzilla, caught up in the battle's thrill, attacks swiftly. Kong avoids the initial assaults and retaliates with his powerful electric moves. The battle continues until Mothra intervenes to warn them of the imminent threat from the Scar King. As the Iwi people attempt to seal the door to prevent the Scar King's entry by mixing a red liquid with special substances to create a barrier, the Scar King launches a cold attack that shatters their efforts and the door. To halt the Scar King's advance, Dr. Andrew's team dispatches thousands of skilled fighters to confuse and delay him, creating a temporary barrier for a swift retreat. Amidst this, Kong and Godzilla unite against the Scar King, 
showcasing their strength and agility, their clash echoing with dynamic energy. Kong retrieves his axe in this fierce confrontation, their weapons clashing intensely, supported by brave little monkeys. As the climax approaches, Mothra joins the fray, navigating through the chaotic energy and cold assaults from the Scar King's forces. Suddenly, gravity shifts, pulling them toward the doors, through which they narrowly escape back to Earth. Undeterred, the Scar King devises a new scheme to dominate Earth, instructing his pet to drain the Sun's energy and initiates a new Ice Age. His plans lead to the devastation of Brazil's beaches, beginning his icy conquest. In all the confusion, Godzilla steps up and hits his enemy hard, making teeth fly and giving Kong a laugh despite the chaos. The city around them suffers heavy damage, torn up by the intense fight unfolding in its streets. Amidst this, Shimo tries to freeze Kong's hand with an ice attack, hoping to turn the tide of the battle. But Godzilla intervenes, using his powerful atomic breath to thwart the ice attack and keep Kong in the fight. Simultaneously, the little monkey, still far below in Hollow Earth, finds a way to assist Kong. He discovers Kong's large axe and returns it just in time. With his axe in hand, Kong targets the main source of the Scar King's strength, a shiny diamond in the villain's weapon. The little monkey throws the axe precisely. The strike is powerful, and instantly, the Scar King's strength fades, and Kong triumphs, defeating his foe with formidable force. The victory is bittersweet as Shimo perishes from his own pet's ice attack. A tragic end. With the world safe and order restored, Gia returns to her people, joyous to reunite with her family after a long absence. Kong, now the undisputed leader, liberates his people from the Scar King's cruel domination. Shimo, though deceased, and the little monkey now oversee Kong's realm, while Godzilla returns to slumber, restoring peace for the time being. This tale of battles, bravery, and bonds formed in adversity concludes with a victory and the beginning of new stories. If you enjoyed this story, share your thoughts, and if you're eager for more thrilling narratives from the world of movies, remember to subscribe and join us in exploring into the cinematic universe. Thank you for watching.